Hi, and welcome to the 2019 paper two. This is question six of the Liebenstar Ordinary Level. So question six here um, has 15 marks. So look, I suggest you have a go at doing the construction that it says on the exam. There's certain constructions you kind of have to know. This will be one of the easier ones. And it's asking us to construct the parallelogram PQRS, telling us that PQ is nine, okay? The PS is 5 and the angle SPQ is 65. So these kind of questions, you're always going to be careful you, you end up getting the right thing. They've given you a line here, so you use that one. Um, that's line P. Now we're not given the, right, the exact length, we're just given a line and a point P on it. So there's multiple ways of starting this, but with PS, okay, you can measure. So PQ, somewhere over here. Then, so PQ, and then R, and then S, your PK. So if you're measuring your PS, you can just measure with your, with your compass five centimeters and put the point here and draw an arc, okay? And then you use your ruler, okay, to, to just draw a straight line between, straight or whatever. Then you're measuring, okay, um, now from there, okay, it's nine centimeters away. So measure nine centimeters. Draw the arc. Okay, you can bring the point here. Um, straight parallel line to this, whatever. Okay, now it's again, it should be straight. And then parallel line back here. This should be the best way to do it. Okay, so, yeah, actually I've measured this in the, in the diagram here. I've taken from the markets game. They've measured the nine here as well. Okay, and five centimeters. So actually, to get this point better than what I was drawn, they've measured nine centimeters here and here. Okay, so then to, to find exactly where the point is, so instead of trying to measure if it is a parallel or kind of trying to judge it, they've gone and from this for, for this intersects the nine centimeter intersects the line given. They've measured the five for the other side of the parallelogram. When those two arcs crisscross, that's the last point on the parallelogram. So it's just better than the way I was initially trying to say it. Um, if you do make a mistake, you can always do it in the back of the, of the thing. Um, it's worth thinking it through, though. If you have the constructions learned off well, it's just a matter of kind of doing. And it's just something that I would learn off you know, before, just before the exam. There's no point learning it off too early. Um, and some of them you probably could figure out you're that way minded what's a good point to remember to always bring your compass without compass or protractor this is fairly tricky okay so that's question six part a part one now part two here says find the area of the parallelogram pqrs okay so i've taken this from the maths papers or table sorry and the area parallelogram is given here okay now we can do it in two different ways i guess because we do have the angle 65 here Okay, and you have nine, five, or five and nine. So we could use um, A, B, sine C, or you have the perpendicular height. Um, now we could find the perpendicular height. Okay, now some people would use trigonometry and just you have the, it was the that's the, the five, the angle 65, and use the sine ratio to find the length of this, uh, this height here. Then that's works out to be four point five three, and then use the a, the a times h formula, or the a b sin c, and either way get the same answer, and the units are squared. So personally, I probably prefer this way, just because it's be less work. But whichever way, um, you choose to do it's the same thing, and make sure it's rounded to the two different places. So part b here says in the diagram o is the center of the circle s so the circle the diameter okay we've an angle just so that angle there is going to be 90 degrees that's this is the trick with this theorem it asks you to find the value of alpha and the value of beta so don't get turned off that could be the value of a and b if you wanted to call that if you wanted to overwrite them with a and b um, the, and just say a equals alpha and b equals beta if that makes you more comfortable okay but all you're trying to do is find these these things if you realize that this is 52 and that's 90 okay that means that two times this angle 
uh, or 2 times beta equals 90 plus 52 is 142, it's 38. So 2 times beta equals 38, just have it done here. Um, yeah, so there's a 2 times beta equals 38, so beta equals 19. Now the other one here, alpha, if you see it, this little triangle here, both those sides there are the radius. So because they're it's an isosceles triangle, those two sides are equal, that means these two angles are equal. So alpha is the same thing as 52. And that's that. I found alpha, I found beta. Okay. Right, so that's question six. So thanks very much and see you on question seven.